after formatting options, uh, it's time uh, right now to discuss the uh, grouping options. Uh, so we go back to the uh, source uh, sales file and we will insert a table and a pivot table. But before we start, uh, the question, is there any quick uh, shortcut, keyboard shortcut to insert a pivot table? Actually, I don't know any and I haven't found any information about that on the uh, web. So the only way to do it is uh, either to use the left alt to generate the uh, letter sh keyboard shortcuts, then insert is N for Natalie, then pivot table V, NT, Alt, NVT. This is the shortcut for the pivot table. I don't use it uh, on daily basis, but instead I have a pivot table shortcut added to my quick access toolbar. So I will either click it, uh, click, click it uh, from here, or I can use the left alt and eight, number eight on my computer to quickly insert the pivot table. Uh, but if you do it from the interface, it's uh, almost exactly the same time. Then we will uh, repeat uh, one of the scenarios we already saw, product category, subcategory and sales on values. Now to make the scenario more clear, let's repeat the formatting of uh, the numbers we have in uh, the pivot table and let's repeat also the sorting uh, accordingly uh, to the uh, subcategory uh, and subcategory uh, sorting. And right now we want to concentrate on the uh, lowest uh, items, lowest values of uh, sales for uh, subcategories belonging to office supplies. You can see this, uh, such a small items like folders, labels, art and so on. We will uh, concentrate on the bottom five right now, which compared, for example, to 4.2 million coming from the accessories is almost uh, nothing. So uh, what we want to reach right now is we want to reorganize subcategories into a brand new group uh, that is why uh, this is going to be the grouping exercise uh, where uh, this will create a brand new subcategory summing up all of the elements we have in here. Uh, so that is why we work with the uh, sorting to find easily the bottom five elements and then we can select them uh, but not on values but this time on rows and either from the right click or also we can find exactly the same things on the analyze tab where you find the group selection uh, from the right click you can find the group operation that will create a brand new layout of the pivot table i would say this uh, new layout is a kind of broken so first before we uh, change it, let's have a look what happened on the right on the pivot table fields. Right now on rows you can find product subcategory number two. This means uh, this is a new subcategory that has been created uh, compared to the initial product subcategory and also on the um, fields list you can find at the end a new a field which is called product subcategory number two. This is my new group. To better understand what this group is going to do, let's uh, remove uh, from rows the old one, which is product subcategory, and let's have a look what happened right now. If you uh, take a closer look uh, right now, we've got the office supplies, and instead of those five small items and uh, tiny uh, sales amounts, you can find uh, right now uh, just uh, the name group one which is your uh, group and by editing the uh, group name either in the formula bar or just by hitting f2 shortcut for the uh, editing content of the cell you can rename it to what we expect small items and right now you can also uh, even resort the data uh, once again uh, and you will see that small items a new subcategory group are somewhere uh, down there in the office supplies and we got rid of this uh, tiny elements in there so if i place product subcategory back to the rows uh, i can always 
uh, collapse uh, all of the uh, elements uh, from this uh, subcategory number two group uh, or field. And you can see that if I know which of the uh, elements uh, is grouped, you can always uh, leave it uh, somewhere in the name of, uh, of your element, like small items group or small items and the just G, G letter. You can always uh, go down one level and have a look what's happening below in your particular uh, small uh, item. So this is the way how you can always uh, recall uh, the elements from your group. If you want to remove this group, you can always find the opposite operation, which is just ungroup that is going to destroy uh, the groups we created. And what is more, you can always find uh, a way to rename the new group. So instead of product subcategory number two, I can go to the rows shelf, find the field settings. Uh, you can find them uh, also in the top left corner of analyze uh, tab. And you can rename this instead of product subcategory two, you can uh, call it, for example, product subcategory group. And once we hit OK, it's going to uh, rename also on the pivot table fields.